So this presentation is not about numbers, business models, so it's about being a pioneer for a thing what is in this moment uh, a trend-setting thing, talking about air taxis, the whole world wants to build up air taxis, but we are the pioneer, we did the first thing, and so I want only to show you in the next 10 minutes a little bit pictures behind how a startup grow. So everything began on 2010 with the idea to scale up a toy technology into a manned aircraft, emission-free manned aircraft, all electric driven. So this was a really big uh, backyard um, development, but there was a lot of uh, engineering work in that. But you see, uh, it, it's not like a real production or development of a research partner. It was from some guys, but uh, we needed 100K of our private money, only having an idea of a, of a company only to bring this idea into the air. And so in 2011, uh, we made the world's first all electric manned takeoff with a vertical aircraft. So, on this video, we have more than 40 million clicks on YouTube in this moment. So, but this is also going viral with something like that helps you to get the next step. So after that, we, dis we decided uh, to, um, to start a company and to develop a two-seater aircraft. And we made in that time the radical decision that we want to develop it perfect for the inner city mission because we lived in that time already to make air taxis for inner city. So the development path to the taxi in the city was uh, the first decision to, to do really everything to make it that it fits into the city. So, 2013, we, f we first uh, published uh, the two-seater here in Berlin as an event. Then, um, end of 2013, um, we flew it the first time in a fair hall. After that, we make a fault grinding campaign. So, we, we, every time we use the milestone with the financial campaign to push it. So, and we, with that flight, we had uh, 1.2 million euros into two and a half days on the ground funding that was record in time and in amount in Europe. And then it needs another three years to get this aircraft into a, a certification. So in 2016, we get the first really permit to fly with a, with a technique like that. And we could fly it all around in Germany with this uh, certification. Um, and that was also shocking for the American people they are developing, but they don't have an idea how to get a certification. And we had some in 2016. From that point on, after we get that, it's going to mainstream. And the other people say, OK, now it's going really too serious that the Technic can be also certified. So some picture behind. So you see, we are really under pressure in for the first man flight. And um, this is um, a short video of the first flight. Um, I had the pleasure to do it by myself. Uh, but everybody could do it because it's really easy to fly, you see. You can put off your hands of the stick, you make something like that or like that, and the aircraft make the whole same thing, thump up and down. That's everything you have to, to know to, to fly with this thing. In 2017, we moved into that building. Um, we um, started with the upper floor with nine people, and now we conquered the whole building and... Uh, Beginning last year, we were 15 people. Now we, were, we are more than 115 at that uh, location. Beside that, it's just some meters far away. There's the airfield, and there we have the production plant of the pre-series we are producing in this moment. And so this is the next model. We developed also in 2017. And then, also in 2017, we moved to Dubai. So to bring a first fully autonomous aircraft into an inner city. And then, so we put out the pilot. We put a lot of uh, um, autonomous system in it. We tested three months in the desert, really hot climates. And uh, then we go to a show location in the urban space, having some test flight early in the morning, then nobody makes some pictures. And then was a big day when the shake of Dubai came and to push a button, for a fully autonomous flight through the city of Dubai, and the flight lasted around nine minutes.
For us, it was not only to have a show flight in, in a city like Dubai. We had a really big learning curve to, uh, to integrate this kind of flying into the, in a digital infrastructure. So we had hardware on board where we are connected to the air traffic management of the Emirates. So the Sheikh is on a big screen on the side, a picture where you see all the, the big aircrafts flying and the Volocopter was in real time integrated into that. So, to bring services like this in the city, you need a digital infrastructure and to connect safely all the players in this area. So this is a big, uh, also a big learning curve behind that for the team to do this uh, in, in Dubai. So when the Sheikh and his team left, um, for sure we as a team pushed also the button. <laughs> so um, the next thing after, after that, we got uh, Daimler as a shareholder on board. So uh, they, we presented uh, also the next generation of the aircraft at the IAA. And also uh, the Daimler people using the Volocopter as a synonym for the future. They have the future Roboter car, the future supercar, and the future uh, air traffic uh, solution for urban space. So that was really, uh, of that we are really proud, but also we got also the next investor, also shareholder Intel. We presented for Intel the Volocopter at the CS in Las Vegas, but the task was there a little bit harder because the CEO of Intel pushed us to fly live on stage in a theater in in, in uh, Las Vegas. That was a keynote speech, the opening keynote speech of the CS. And uh, we took the task to fly inside that theater. So you see on the left and the right side of the, of the rotor blades, there was only one meter left. And this is really hard because there were a lot of turbulence out, uh, caused by the aircraft. And so you see uh, now the flight on stage in front of 5,000 people. I shot this movie with my phone, and, but I had really, it was really hard and pressure. If there something happens, the company would crash down. So it was really, uh, but we worked hard to make it safe. So the next step was, uh, is uh, beginning this year. Uh, we opened our office in Singapore and hired people there in Singapore. Of course, we will uh, start there uh, really with the first uh, commercial flights this year. Then we offered, uh, opened an office in Munich uh, for different uh, things to develop. And also we had uh, announced a partnership with Fraport to integrate air taxi service into the airspace of highly regulated airspace of an, air, uh, of an airport to use this internationally in every airport, to fly from the airport to a hotel or to the inner city. As true pioneers, we are already finding answers, together with our ecosystem network of partners. We are proud having established partnerships with Daimler, Intel, Frankfurt Airport and cities like Singapore and Dubai. The first cities 
are ready to implement our air taxis soon. They know that the future of mobility is here now. Let's shape it together. So thank you, and I'm sure you don't remember my face because you have only looked on the stage and the screen. <laughs>